Hey everyone, I'm Kimberly Munoz, Instructional Technologist with Franklin ISD. Are you a teacher or principal or counselor looking for a tool to help you create dynamic newsletters? We're going to solve that problem in three minutes. I want you to take a look at s'more.com. It does exactly what it says. It creates beautiful newsletters in minutes. You can actually sign up for a free account and for education you can use most of the tools for free. So you're just simply going to click the orange button to try S'more Now. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my account. The dashboard is very simple to understand. It gives you simple instructions. If you look down here below, it says just getting started. Here's a few ways of how S'more works. So number one, you're just going to design your flyer. Number two, you can share it in many different ways. And then number three, you can actually see the results or the views of how many times it's been looked at. So to get started, we're just going to click the orange button to start a new flyer. When we click here, we have several different options. We can actually start from blank or we can use one that's like a template. We're going to start here, so I'm going to click class. Notice it gives me a title that I can just click on and change. So we're going to call this weekly newsletter. And then the subtitle, you could actually put something such as the date. And I'm just going to make up some dates here. When you click done, it changes that for you. And then you can click down here and you can add anything you want by clicking this plus sign. When you click the plus sign, it gives you either a text box, a title box, which is something like this. You could just add a picture, a gallery of pictures, a calendar date for an event. This gives you more of a layout for a biography. You can actually add audio or video here, or you could embed a link if you have something from Google or if you have a document that you want to share from the internet. So, or you could just use the templates that they have here by simply clicking edit. If you don't like this template, you can click the X to remove this and then add your own. So for instance, I'm going to click text. It gives me a title box here and I'm just going to say for example. And then here's what I would write my text about. Did you know? And then I would continue. Notice here that you can add links, you can bold, italicize, underline, and center, all the things that you would normally get to do. When I click done, it has added my text here. Again, I can edit or I can click the X to remove it and keep on going. So it's just very, very easy to navigate. Now in order to change the look of it, you simply just want to click what kind of design you want. So we're going to choose handwritten. And then we can also change the background of what we want. So I'm going to change it to this and then maybe change my color scheme to go along with it. We can also change the different fonts that we use as well and it shows us what that looks like. And that's how simple it is to use s'more.com to create your newsletter in minutes. When you're finished, you can click Done Editing. It takes you out to show you what exactly it would look like once you share it. You can actually print it. You can preview it. You can see how many vi visitors show up. And then here's the link to actually copy and paste to share out with others. To see your previous flyers, you can click on Your Flyers. And I just want to show you, for instance, this is one that I created in the past. I'm going to click on this to show you some ideas of how you can also use it. Notice that I added links here for my agenda, added a QR code picture, other pictures to show how to do certain steps, and then I actually embedded a Google survey into this. So there's many different things that you can do. Just keep playing around with it, and then you can share it to any of these social tools as well. I hope you learned something today and come back for more.